So here's a case study on fraud detection. This is a large online gaming company. Um, and the objective here was to be able to improve their fraud analysis. Basically, this the online gaming company captured a huge amount of hand information for people that were playing uh, and gambling online. And the objective here was to identify payment fraud to stop revenue leakage and improve the overall uh, validity of the, of the online gaming site. Uh, specifically, what they were finding was that there were cases of fraud where, for example, uh, people, different players were colluding with each other in order to win against the house, in this case, the online gaming company itself, that's causing a huge amount of revenue leakage and revenue loss for the online gaming company. It was also very apparent that there were different players that were colluding with each other and working with each other in order to game the system and win against other players that were legitimate gamblers. Um, and this was creating a situation where legitimate gamblers on this gaming site uh, felt that they were being cheated. So to improve the overall validity and legitimacy of the website and avoid revenue leakage, this online gaming company wanted to improve their ability to detect fraud. In the past, they leveraged different um, systems that really were resulted in late detection of fraud or a significant amount of leakage. The fraud detection algorithms were only able to run once a week because of the large and growing data volumes. Uh, it actually was run outside of the database where they had to transfer information that was captured to some mid-tier single server SMP environment, run that algorithm, and keep doing this in batch. And this required a significant amount of time uh, and processing power, and so as a result, they were only able to do it once a week. In fact, the performance limitations were so significant in this outside of the database approach that they had to simplify their fraud algorithm significantly. As a result, the fraud algorithm was not able to capture all of the cases of fraud that occur on their online gaming site. So the impact of this was that there was a huge amount of leakage. They weren't able to detect uh, cases of fraud that occurred because of a weaker algorithm. And even if they were able to detect it, it was happening way too late, a week or two after the fact. And so they weren't able to capture or identify the suspects. Those people that had committed the fraud were long gone. Uh, working with this company, we were able to work with them to take their existing fraud analytics algorithm and parallelize that in an in-database SQL MR function. In fact, we were able to not only parallelize this, the existing fraud algorithm, but we were able to enrich it further because now there are no constraints or performance constraints. They were able to make it much more robust and be able to catch previously undetected fraud. The result of this was not only an improvement in catching cases of fraud they weren't able to detect before, but also a case where they were able to reduce cycle time from one week down to every 15 minutes, thus being able to capture cases of fraud frequently and be able to, in some cases, even capture or identify the people that were committing fraud while they were still playing. And there's a huge, huge competitive advantage for them. As a result of this, they were able to not only reduce cycle time, catch previous cases of undetected fraud, but also improve their query performance by 6,000%, cutting down what used to take 90 minutes overall of, of uh, fraud query time down to 90 seconds.